Hi, my name is Ben Freirich. I'm the Technical Director at Particulate Solid Research Incorporated in Chicago. And today I'm going to be uh, having a conversation with Alyssa Park, professor at Columbia University, who is studying carbon capture and conversion, gave a plenary for the World Congress on Particle Technology. And uh, we're going to talk about the subject matter of your talk. So thank you, Alyssa, for coming. Thank you. And so your, your talk was on uh, carbon, carbon capture and then carbon utilization and, and you know, making stuff from carbon. So can you discuss uh, what, you, what you're discussing in your plenary? Well, this uh, meeting was all about particle technology. So uh, I focus on one particular material so I work on uh, how to capture CO2 using nanoscale hybrid material, which is liquid-like, but eventually we made it into bulk particles. So how to capture uh, CO2 in various uh, streams such as the coal fire power plant flue gas or to even cement plants, how to capture them. And in the same material, we're looking at all the tuning of the chemistry and physics to convert them directly to chemicals and fuels. That's amazing. So where, where do you uh, see this type of technology going over the next several years? So I think uh, during my plenary talk, I kind of did this, I explained what kind of source searching I did last few years, and especially I became the director of the Memphis Center for Sustainable Energy about three years ago. And that was a time I really thought about what is the direction of the CCUS, carbon capture utilization uh, storage field is going because um, after working on it for two decades, many of us, still we don't have a commercial scale units, right? Why and how and all that stuff. And I think it's a, we are kind of at the unique time because renewable energy, when lowered the price of renewable energy quite rapidly, a lot faster than we thought. That's right. So instead of us saying we need to invest all in renewable, do this, compared to um, CCUS is kind of against each other, that was a kind of past view on things. But renewable energy need to be stored, which we have a challenge. Although we work really hard on energy storage, including battery, we still have a challenge. At the same time, CCUS requires carbon-free energy. Then we can do a lot more. I think we are at the really interesting time that there's a synergistic merger between these two so that using renewable energy, which is carbon-free, we can do a lot more CCUS. And renewable energy can be stored in carbonous materials like hydrocarbon in high energy density. We know what to do with. So I think the future should be there could be microgrid, regular grid and super grid, or whatever you want to call it, we want to penetrate renewable energy into this grid with the minimum hiccup, including environmental hiccup. So how to do that with the minimum um, environmental footprint, including carbon um, footprint, is very important. So I think uh, looking at more holistic view on how things are fitting in is important. Also, CO2 area, we have to now go not only zero emission, we have to go to negative emission means that we need to decarbonize the power sector and chemical sector and more. So in order to decarbonize the chemical sector, we may have to start with uh, CO2 as a carbon feedstock for the chemicals and uh, materials for the future. So that was the whole discussion, how to do that most efficiently. And I think a lot of us, we can work together. And of course, particles play an important role in all these conversion systems. That's, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you had, um, an audience member, one important takeaway from your talk, what would that be? I think until now, all these novel materials we've been talking about and developing, we kind of make microliters or milliliters and all that. But if we really want to commercialize, we have to think about bigger scale, how to deliver them. And if we don't have reactors or separators in mind, you don't really get there by developing novel materials. So in that way, particle technology is very important because how to load them up, how to use them, how to have mass transfer and get good kinetics is very important. So hopefully we teach our students in the um, university and also industry that how to do that transition from really fundamental science to particle technology and go eventually into the process level uh, smoothly, there will be a really big challenge in the yeah, future. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much.